Alrighty guys, this morning we're down here on the Tennessee River. We're gonna go target some shell crackers. It's early February. It's early morning. We're gonna load up on the boat here and head down river and see if we can find some fish. Marking a lot of fish in here yesterday. To be honest, I never even looked at the gray. <laughs> but no point. Where's she tied up right here? I just put the uh, trolling motor on anchor mode. Oh, ah, okay. Gonna throw right up there. Really be right on that line where we get. Hey, like in that hummingbird. Oh yeah, hummingbird. You can't go wrong with it. That's the that's the Helix Twelve, yep, Gen Two. Gen Two. Okay, we're going to be fishing in about five to six foot of water. The water temp is fifty three point nine. We're going to be spot locking. See if we can put some of these fish in the boat. What kind of bird nest you got there? Is that something Tom's left behind? Probably is. That's why. Uh, hey, buddy, when I take him fishing, it's it's. Uh, I have to bring extra lines. I really can't afford to take Tom fishing. That looks like something he'd leave behind on my boat. Yeah, bird's man. nest. All right, man. Show us some, show us how we're catching these shell crackers this morning. We just what got are we a, using for bait? Got a night crawler. And all I'm doing. Got a hook you got here. Just a, one of them snail panfish hooks. And I'm taking that night crawler and pinching off about an inch. I'm gonna hook it right in the middle like a wacky worm. Just like it. And we got two split shots up here, so it'll help float it up just a little bit. Just going up there and let it sit on the bottom. skunk off the boat. It's a non-skunker. Yeah. Had a lot of rain coming last night and it really uh, muddied up the water a bit. So. Guys, we're out here today. I'm out here with Ben Roach. Drake uh, clothing. You got probably some of the best waterfowl hunting and fishing apparel. I'll put a link down here. Um, check out their website. And then back here I got Mr. Caleb Harris country music star. I'll put a link down there where you can find some of his music. Caleb, are you playing anywhere right now? Uh, no, I just got back from California. Uh, I did a show with uh, Courtney Hanson and Troy Ladd uh, building hot rods out in California. So another great adventure back here in the good old state of Tennessee though. Awesome. I'll put a link down there where they can find some of your music. And uh, we got the skunk off the boat here. and We're fishing right here at this mud line and mouth of this creek. And we've got two or three bites to see if we can put some fish in the boat. Back to you, right? There you go. All righty. Not a bad little one. Nice little shell cracker. Be some good eating right there. Good start, ain't it? Even got to keep my bait. Perfect. There we go. Now, Ben, you're using a night crawler. Yep. And you can get these night crawlers. People can buy night crawlers where Walmart. Walmart. A lot of you gas stations around the boat ramp carry them. Any bait and tackle store carry them. But yeah, Walmart will have them in the sporting goods section. What pound of line we using? This is here is six, a six pound line. Yeah, here we go, guys. Look right here. Whoa. Now, Ben, for the folks watching here, when you throw that bait on a bottom, what are you really trying to feel? What are you? These guys will hit it. Like, you'll feel like a little tap. Just a, like, almost like you just swallowed it and picked it up. 
and then you'll feel it, you'll see the line go tight, and it'll just go tight. You just kind of just lay there with it, honestly. And then Ben, while we're waiting on a bite here, there's something we need to just, let's just get it out of the way here. There's been a lot of controversy about this boat anchor you lost. Oh, God. And I probably jumped a gun. There's Caleb trying to set the hook on another one. I probably jumped a gun without doing due process. <laughs> I should have found out who taught you, who taught you how to tie that knot. Well, I was on a boat with Tom one day. He said, here's a new knot on how to tie an anchor. So I was like, well, that's pretty neat. So he showed me how to tie it and everything. But we really didn't think tied up long. We just tied the knot and then we left. So then next time I go fishing with you, I can tie this new fancy knot that Tom taught me. And the knot comes undone and we lost the knife. So I think Tom actually set me up. I, after hearing your side of the story, I think you're right. I think uh, fish on. You got another one on here. I think you're probably right, Ben. I probably need to send Tom an invoice for that anchor. I think, yeah, I think you do. All right, that, that little white bass here. Yeah. So, starting to get a few bites this morning. But yeah, I think I need to send Tom an... Now, he claims the anchor was free, but the anchor was really worth $75. I think he owes you 75 plus shipping. What about the anchor rope? See, that's, that's another 19 dollars Okay, so I mean, we'll call it $100, call it even. $100 bill, I'll take care of it. Well, I'll send him an invoice today uh, for that, but I appreciate you clearing that up, Ben, because that's been something that's been lingering on for a while, and now and now we got the truth out of it. I knew I knew that wrongdoer, Tom Cowker, was trying to put that off on you. I don't know. But that's yeah, all right. He, he does his stuff. I mean, just look at this guy's face here, <laughs> and uh, you'll see what we're talking about. Ben, tell us a little bit about what Drake's got going on this year. All right, uh, for, for Drake Waterfowl, it's always been the, uh, the one of the leading brands of waterfowl hunting. And they broke into, this year, the uh, fishing industry with Drake Performance Fishing. So they have your performance fishing shirts for, <clears throat> that are real nice for when it gets hot out and everything. They help keep you on the water long and cooled off. And uh, they also have these nice, this is, uh, this is their rain gear. These are the bibs, as well as the uh, they have a jacket. So plenty of pockets. All the uh, that's a jacket. Nice one here. All these features. Oh yeah, look right here, guys. Nice. It don't get no better than this right here. Drake, Drake gear and big shell crackers. That's it. I'll put a link here where you can go visit Drake website. Yeah, guys, check it out. And, uh, I'll add a couple of pictures here. I think Ben's got a few pictures on his page there. I'll add to the video showing you some of the gear they got. If you have any questions or anything, feel free to look me up. And uh, I'd be happy to answer any questions that you might have. Yeah, you can find Ben on Facebook under Ben Roach. Hey, Caleb, now we, want to address, we don't want to address any specific allegations that Tom Kalker's spreading on you, but... I'm assuming most of them are lies, ain't they? 100%. Why is he wanting to spread them kind of things on you? Well, I, I know he talks to a, a guy named Benjamin Roach. They got this big conspiracy theory going around. Yeah, about so, the duck blind. So we gotta, we gotta get some of that straightened out. Well, I mean, there ain't nothing, there ain't nothing to it. There ain't nothing to it. There we go. Oh, man. Yeah. Ben on a Ben's. Yeah, he nailed that thing. Yeah. He hit that like a big fish. Them seem to be hanging out there at that line. But anyway, Caleb, just want to put all that to rest, Erks. I assumed it was all bull crap. Sometimes, you know, Ben uses things to cover up his actions. <laughs> uh, well, something was. Tom was trying to say something that Ben had to go rescue you one time out of a gay bar. I mean. Exactly. Why are you trying to drag Ben in on your your escapades? I, uh, I, I mean, I stumbled in there by accident. Ben was just in there having. A, a oh, okay, you stumbled in there by accident, and Ben was in there on purpose. Well, I think the other side of the story is. It was really y'all was both in there trying to rescue Tom Cowker. Tom was in the corner. I'm not gonna say anything, but Tom was in the corner back there by himself. So I don't know what, what he was there. doing there. Who he's meeting. Yeah, we just seen his truck. So, I mean, 
trying to be a good friend and make sure he was on the right path. He can't help everybody. That's it, brother. Well, we were just trying to clear up some of these misconceptions this morning. You know, I, you, one thing we have to do is we won't be able to tell anybody where we're catching these shell crackers. Tom, Tom finds out what. Tom finds out what's going to happen. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, and there we go. This is what we come for right here. This is what we come for right here. Yeah, this is this. And guys, right here, she's a shell cracker. Yeah, boy. That's what we want right there. That right there gets any better. Yeah. That's bigger in your hand right there, guys. The only way that gets any better is That's it. It'll be, it will be after a while. No, another little shell cracker. Caleb putting a hurt on them now. Bait yeah. that, Ben? Yeah, bait. Yeah, Ben with a yeah. This could be the one. Yeah, here we go. Nice shell cracker. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. I don't know how many we caught this morning, Ben, but it's been a pile of them. Oh, yeah, it's been a bunch. All right. Caleb catching some nice shell crackers this morning. Did you catch that one in the deep out there? Give me my bait back. He's a nice little fella. Guys, we catching these just, just one after another. Beautiful. Shell cracker. Pretty fish. Pretty yeah. fish. There, Ben, that's good flathead bait. Exactly. Now, if you're going to hook up for flathead bait, I'm gonna how, hook, how you going to hook him? I'll put that circle hook right through his head right there. Let him sit out there on the bottom. Good thing about these bluegills, they're real lively. You can put them up, you can hook them and they won't, they won't slow down. They'll get out there. Caleb got, now, Caleb got another one on. He on them yellow bait. He on them yellow bait. No, he got a little shell cracker. Another little shell cracker. I'm gonna, I'm gonna add a couple of pictures here, Ben, on these big flatheads that I'm gonna put in here. Where, where'd you catch these flatheads at? The flatheads? Yeah, that I'm gonna add to the video here that you caught here. I caught them, uh, we were down on the river section of Watts Bar Lake. We was up on, I guess it would be the upper end of Watts Bar Lake. Most of them on live bait? Yeah, most of my flatheads come on live bait. Guys, we've been just catching them one run after another here this morning. Another shell cracker. My well's getting full. Caleb, Ben's catching these big shell crackers. What are you catching back here? Well, ben went to cast and got things wrapped up. So, have you been hanging around Tom Calker and Bob Snag a lot? You know the Tom and Bob show. That's what they like to do is get snagged up. Now, Ben, I want to clear something up while I got you on camera. You know, Tom's always talking about wanting to take an Lexi fishing oh, yeah. while you're at work. Now listen, I wouldn't want to take her fishing in the middle of February. <laughs> I wouldn't do you that way. <laughs> I wouldn't do you. I wouldn't take her in the middle of February. Be upset when she got home. Yeah. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. So I mean I don't know. I mean I just you're you're a good friend of mine. I don't know why Tom wants to do you like that. But uh I just want to clear the air on that. And your thoughts on that about him wanting there's another one out. Oh he come on. Lost him. I'd be a little, I'd probably, I'd let you take her fish. I don't yeah. know if I'd let Tom. Yeah, fish. you got to watch that, Tom. Hey, he's from Ohio. That's all you need to know. Exactly. Uh, I know how he is about my fishing holes. I take, I don't know about him take, let him fish. What about, uh, he says when he comes down here and fish you, you don't get to catch no fish. 
Well, because if I take you to my good hole, I know we'll be back in them, so I gotta take you. That's how I know I'll take you to a gar hole. Yeah. And then Community a, hole. A week, a week later, somebody else will be in there fishing. He calls them truck stop holes. <laughs> yeah. Well, <laughs> when he tells everybody where they're at, then that's why they turn into community holes. Man, we've had a good time this morning. We were spot locking with a trolling motor, but the wind was so bad this morning. Ben came up with a little neat idea of putting an anchor out, which really has kept us right here on these fish, uh, right here on this current break. As you can see right here where the water, uh, this muddy creek comes out into the main channel here. There's another one, Ben on with another fish. And it's just been like this all morning long, one right after the other. Yeah, file hooked him out, he got him here. Let's throw him back, he's small. Bait. We use him for bait. Oh yeah. Nice little shot there. Guys, it's windy out here this morning, but I tell you what, the, we have caught the shell crackers this morning. Okay. We're taping right now, brother. Oh yeah, oh yeah, yeah. This is this, what we wanted right there. You can't make this up right here. Yeah, that's nice. still getting a few bites, guys. Caleb with another one, huh? Yep. Oh, another another shell cracker. Another one for the live well. Now, Caleb, this is a true story. Ben will tell you, Ben, that morning we went to Hawassi, we drove up through there. I mean, we were out in the middle of nowhere. Yeah. It was, it was, uh, Caleb, it was, uh, come on up here and I'll, I'll open this up for you here. I heard banjos playing a lot. Now, Caleb, I ain't lying. It was, it was an hour before daylight. We was out in the middle of nowhere. And we're driving up there on the riverbank. And I look over on the riverbank. What, and what was standing there, Ben? Bigfoot taking a bath. They, no, seriously, there was something standing on the bank. You tell me what it was, Ben. Yeah, I don't know what it was. Uh, but there was something over there. Something or somebody. There yeah. ain't nowhere anybody yeah. should have been. I believe it was a Bigfoot. They had to have been. It's either Bigfoot or Tom Cocker trying to figure out where you was fishing. <laughs> it's probably. Yeah, okay. Uh, yeah, he got GPS on me, I think. Yeah, could have been Tom up there trying to figure out where you was fishing, Ben. Yeah, he got GPS on me, I'm pretty sure. Yeah. Now, that's a true story, though. We did see something on the bank. Caleb, I ain't gonna lie to you. I don't know what it was. Yeah, I don't either. Way up the river. Way up the river. Yeah. Yeah, we were. We were not in nowhere near the No, we went around nobody's house or nothing. I'll guarantee you that Double much. Service. Uh -uh. Double, Double on, guys. Yeah. Double on right now. Yeah, two. Yeah, nice. Another nice shell cracker. Double trouble. Guys, we've just been one shell crack after another this morning. Yeah, Caleb's going to the frying pan. Yeah, ain't my worm still. I'll have to have a look at Another one. Nice little shell cracker. Double on. Except Caleb's got a white bass. All right, guys, we're about to wrap this trip up here today. As you can see, the wind is blistering. Most people would consider this horrible fishing conditions. But Ben, tell us a little bit about where we're fishing, how we're fishing. What we got is we're fishing the mouth of this creek, and it's about 15 foot deep here in the creek. And it comes up on the hump, and we're fishing in probably about two to three foot of water. You can see the stumps here out of the water. And then it drops off into the main channel, and these fish seem to be holding it. Rain pretty bad last night, so we got a lot of mud. These fish seem to be holding right around that mud line, so 
if you can get your baits right in that mud line on that hump and fish can see the bait pretty well and uh, we've had a pretty good morning. We caught a bunch of fish, got some a bunch of nice fish, should make some nice meal here later. Sounds good guys, let's get out of here. That's what you call a good day of shell crackers right there guys. Really nice mess of fish. Come on back a little bit, I believe, don't you? Uh, you got that Alrighty guys, it's time to go home. We wore the U's right, we wore the shell crackers out. Great day fishing for shell crackers. Guys, this time of year, you know, a lot of people think about January and February being an off time. This is where Ben and Caleb, I mean, these guys fish year around. They know where the fish is at. Shell crackers are on fire. Hope you guys enjoy the video. Check out Drake. I'll put the link there in the video. I'll also put a link to Caleb uh, Country Music, some of his music, some places he might be playing. He just is in a TV show too. If I can get the link to that, I'll put that on there. Just subscribe, like, and comment on our videos. Guys, let's go home and play these fish. Good. Thank you guys. Good.